And I thank you all for coming to Salon Panay, but Salon Panay would be nothing without women that are so amazing, that's building a legacy for like generational gaps and bond boundaries that have happened, but you're like making sure that everything keeps going with your family. And so we open our doors and we serve the vision, we serve your family and we serve you. Thank you so, so much. So we love you and I just thank everyone for all their support. <laughs> so thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you all for coming. This has been amazing. We are glad to be here in Atlanta. This is a beautiful place. I hope you guys come and have tea with me. I'm giving out samples of some of the things that we have. We have shots of bitters from Honduras. I have something called a Honduran green. So I just want to get to know you guys and I want you to feel free to come and be a part of this family. These women are amazing and I thank you so much for opening your doors yes. to the Savy family. <laughs> you know, when he, when Savy died, um, his grandfather, <laughs> my dad it was very hard it was bittersweet and it um, started a reflection of talks that me and my father used to walk and 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 have in Honduras or New York or LA and I really miss those talks so when he died you have to reflect on those things to remember the ones who have died or passed on and what did he leave with me that was vital so I'm gonna try to do this without crying but we used to walk and talk about certain herbs because I don't care if you were a friend of his or if you were his daughter. He got excited about herbs, just like some men get excited about football. So he would always share the herbs that were most important to whatever you were dealing with in your life. And at that time, I think I was about 20, I just had Saima. So I was uh, in my early 30s and I was telling him a lot of things I was going through and I had flew to Honduras and he was sharing with me certain herbs. And so I was looking back in a diary I had and I remember these herbs that we walked in down this path down in the village in Honduras and he was sharing some things with me and I went back and wrote it in this diary and I happened to pull it out. I hadn't found it in a while. And it was this uh, combination, this recipe he gave me just for me. So what I went ahead and did um, since we're launching here is I turned that into a product for all of us. Uh, it's a chlorophyll and it is a banging you know when I was young I thought wow this is incredible he did this for me I feel like this was love from my dad so what I did is I took that recipe and I'm bringing it to you and today it's called Honduran green and it is a chlorophyll and it is amazing it boosts the immune system but it also just you know allows you to de-stress while it's doing that and that was something that I required at that time and it was so dear to my heart I made it and I had taken it and I, I just reflected on that path walk that we were going. We were headed down to the sauna. There's some uh, natural um, saunas out there and I was headed down there. By the time I got there, I was full and I was so grateful to him for what he gave. And so when I turned that into a product for uh, Atlanta, I didn't realize just how well it would be received and it is doing amazing. So today I'm launching um, Honduran Green for you guys to um, try if you want to purchase it, but it's one of the love letters from my father to me. I decided on when I came out with my product line that I would put pictures of Honduras to take you there. A lot of you have not been there and I want to take you there, so I have pictures of exactly um, of times when we were either walking or talking about something. There's some specific pictures, so if you want to know the stories, please ask me because with every picture there is a story and it's a love story. I love my dad and I love what he shared with me, but I love what he shared with all of us. So I'm hoping that today you're interested in trying this Honduran green because it's out of sight. It's one of my favorite, but it takes me all the way back to Honduras and when I would walk in the village and watch the, the hills, it sits on the side of a mountain and it's called in the name of God. And the village sits at the, the very bottom of that, of that uh, mountain and it actually is a um, volcano. And the water that runs through the village is a picture of that. It's so breathtaking. You can't help but thank God for what you have. And so this product that I offer today, this is one of my out of sight. This is the one that's closest to my heart. So I'm hoping that you enjoy it. And I just wanted to share that with you guys. <laughs>